There are 56 million Americans receiving Social Security right now, so you'd expect some accounting mistakes along the way. Certainly so. However, for one high desert woman, that mistake could cost her her livelihood. Yeah, CBS2 investigative reporter Christine Lazar joins us now to explain. Christine. Susie and Jeff, last month we told you that Social Security does have a problem with overpayment, and it becomes your problem when they send you a letter and demand that you pay them back immediately. There's no way. I, I mean, there's no way I owe them that much money. $48,000. That's how much the Social Security Administration wants 66 year old Betty Ham to pay them back in 30 days. What did you think when you opened that letter and saw the figure $48,000? I just blew my mind. I mean, there's no way in heck I could come up with that kind of money unless I sold my house. Ham is another victim of Social Security overpayments. Two on your side told you last month that the agency reported more than one billion in overpayments in 2016. Ham saw that story and asked for our help. Back in February, she got this letter from the agency stating that they overpaid her for two and a half years of her disability to the tune of $48,831, the entire amount of disability she received. Christy Bailey is Ham's daughter. What do you think of the fact that it took them three years to recognize this mistake? I think that's ridiculous. It shouldn't take that long for somebody to um, find a mistake. In the letter, the agency claims the money she received wasn't payable because Ham was doing substantial work. But Ham says that substantial work is a few days a week as a cashier at an Ontario car wash. Right now I'm making probably $238 every week. Money she says she needs to pay her bills because she only gets about 1200 a month from Social Security. Ham says she always believed she was making below the threshold of what she was allowed to make in supplemental income. They don't give me enough money to survive and I don't see how most people can. I don't have my house paid off. To add insult to injury, in the letter from the agency, it specifically says they will not collect the overpayment while they decide if they can waive collection. And yet just one week after Ham filed a request for reconsideration, her social security payments stopped. She hasn't received two months of payments. So far, and I've got another one coming up on the 18th, if I don't get it then, that will be three months. The letter also states that her Medicare benefits won't be affected, and yet this is the premium bill she received last month. She is now paying that out of pocket. I'll take any help I could possibly get because I cannot do this for much longer. And an update to that overpayment story we brought to you last month after Two on Your Side contacted the Social Security Administration, they wiped the more than $6,000 the Orange County senior was being told she needed to pay back, and they revised her monthly benefits, admitting that they had made a mistake. So, as you can imagine, the Social Security Administration doesn't work very quickly. Yeah. So they're still reviewing this current case of the $48,000 that they want this woman to pay back. A supervisor did call her today in response to us contacting them on her behalf. Oh, good. They say they're looking at that appeal, and in the meantime, though they had stopped her payments, they're now going to reinstate those until they make a decision. Wheels oh. starting to turn Wheels slowly. Are very slowly, yeah. very slowly. But you for the have patience. Yes, thank you, Christine. Mm -hmm. All right, we are looking at uh, some cooler weather. We're going to get to that in just a second. Yeah, two on your side, of course, can help you out. Just email us at two on your side at cbs.com with your problem. If you have one or Twitter, use the hashtag two on your side, and of course, we can see what we can do for you to help solve your problem.